Hello again and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. I am Zarkoon. On the screen here you see my Robert Jaujard build. Got flammable cannoneer in the first tier of perks. Got gyrating drill bits in the second tier of perks. The megalomania perk which is the key here in the third tier. Reload time of the main guns on the battleship reduced by 5% and battleships detectability time after firing main guns reduced by 12.5% which is nice minus 4% HP which is not nice but I think it's a worthwhile trade-off down here reaching out XXL range of the main guns extended by 2% and the legendary trait repair party is increased while active. Now I'm telling you this because this is the build I have on the Jean Bart and this video is going to be more of an in-depth review of the Jean Bart. So let's take a look at that ship before I get into the battle where by the way I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Jean Bart's reload booster to maximum effect. So here is the Jean Bart and we'll compare it to the Richelieu Let's take a look at its stats here. Survivability, 66,240 hit points with my Zhao Shard build and the Megalomania perk. 32% torpedo damage reduction. All right there. Artillery, four, 2 by 4 380 millimeter guns, both in turrets on the front of the ship. Maximum AP shell damage, 12,970 one and pretty good HE stats by the way 5400 shell damage from the HE shells and 36% chance to start fire I do believe that is comparable to the Vanguard apparently also the Jean Bart has fantastic AA guns not that those matter in this game Maneuverability, max speed of 28 knots, turning circle radius of 850 meters, rudder shift time of 16 seconds, and the concealment, basically standard battleship type concealment. But, let's take a look at this reload booster and see what it actually does. So, it temporarily accelerates the reload speed of the main battery guns by 50%. The consumable lasts for 15 seconds and it takes 180 seconds to reload. So what that means in practice is that once you pop this booster, all right, it reduces the reload time on the main guns, brings it down on my build to about 10 seconds. And the 15 seconds that the consumable lasts for is about enough to get a single salvo off. So you fire a salvo, pop the reload booster, immediately in 10 seconds you get another shot to take, and then basically the reload booster will run out, and when it runs out the reload time will go up a little bit from where it is while the booster is active, but it's still shorter than it would be for a full reload. By the way, the reload on these guns on my build here is 21.7 seconds with Zhao Jard and, um, and this reload main battery mod 3 in the slot 4 of the mods. It reduces the main battery reload time by 12%. Now, we'll compare the Jean Bart to its sister ship here, the Richelieu, exact same Robert Jaujard build on it, and also have the reload booster in slot 3. So basically the exact same build on both of these ships. Now, we've got a couple less hit points on the Richelieu, and about the same torpedo damage reduction. Artillery, basically the same here, same guns, 19.3 uh, kilometer range, 25 second reload time though with the same exact build. HE shell damage, AP shell damage, exactly the same, but the reload time is a little bit slower. So right there, there's a tick in the box, in the pros box of the Jean Bart. It's a little bit better than the Richelieu in terms of main battery reload speed with the necessary modifications for the build. 
AA defense a lot less. Not that that not that that matters. Maneuverability a little bit better here. A little bit higher maximum speed at 21 or 29.1 knots. Same turning circle radius 850 meters and a little bit faster rudder shift time, but only by about 0.6 seconds, I believe. Concealment basically the same. So. With that all out of the way, now that you have a comparison between the Jean Bart and Richelieu, you can see that the Jean Bart is a bit better. It's got some things going in its favor. So now let's take it out to battle and demonstrate how to use the reload booster effectively. Alright, so we've got a battle here on Estuary, and we are in the Jean Bart in one of the flank spawns here and the match is about to begin we're gonna get started here team composition we got three destroyers on the enemy team a single cruiser and the rest battleships so we are going to right off the bat reverse a little bit so that I am able to angle the bow of my ship in towards where I believe the enemies are going to spawn the spawns, by the way, in the last update have been updated, and I believe they spawn a little further back than they did before. So before an estuary on this spawn, you could spawn and be spotted right off the bat. Now I am spotted pretty quickly here, but uh, there was a little less time, and there's a Turpitz, he is turning broadside, firing HE at me, which might be his best move because of the fire chance and because of my steep angle. I do hit the turpits for about 5,000 damage. Not that great, but it's something. It could have been better though. And now we've got a New Orleans also shooting with HE. So this can cause problems pretty quickly. I need to get this New Orleans off the board as soon as possible, especially since I've got a friendly destroyer pushing in towards the New Orleans, although he's giving him quite a wide berth, but the New Orleans is of course a mortal threat to the friendly destroyer. And he is rather angled out there and he's reversing, so taking that into account as I launch my next salvo in his direction, still taking fire from the turpits, and you can see that this fire has taken off uh, almost a quarter of my health now, so it is gonna add up here pretty quickly. I really need to stop these guys from firing at me. I do put one fire out because I think I've taken enough damage from it and I pop the heal just as the New Orleans turns broadside. So I'm gonna launch a salvo at him, pop the reload booster immediately, it goes down to 10 seconds reload time, and I hit the New Orleans for 5,000 damage he is making a turn, and now with this reload booster fully reloaded, send a salvo his way, and that looks pretty good, and bam! Be gone! <laughs> Sorry, Tebow, that's just so fun to say. Alright, so there is a demonstration of the reload booster being used to maximum effect. You see I took one shot at the New Orleans, hit him for 5k, pop the reload booster, ooh, nice shot on the turpits there for 21,000 damage, 5 penetrations, pretty dang good. Anyway, took 5k off that New Orleans, pop the reload booster, 10 seconds later, salvo's ready to go, shoot at him, he gone, and then... The reload booster, if you notice there, it ran out because the duration is only 15 seconds. And when it ran out, I believe the reload time was down to about, I don't know, 7, 8 seconds. And it went up to, I think, about 12 or 13 seconds in that ballpark. So the reload time goes up if the reload booster consumable runs out. But it's still pretty fast reload. So you can get three salvos out of the reload booster in pretty quick succession, which is honestly terrifying. Had I not, had I been in the Richelieu and not had access to that reload booster, after I hit that New Orleans with the 5k salvo, he would have successfully completed his turn and he would have had the stern of his ship pointed to me by the time my guns reloaded again, and then it would have been 
pretty unlikely that I could have landed such a devastating strike on him after he had completed his turn. But he hadn't fully completed it. My aim was pretty dang good there. The shells hit him and took him off the board. First kill game, first blood, and devastating strike. So that is a demonstration of the power of the Jean Bart's reload consumable. It's actually quite terrifying. And that that edge that the reload booster gives the Jean Bart might actually make it possibly the best tier 7 battleship in the game right now. I know a lot of people would argue that the Iowa is the best tier 7 battleship and you know you can make the case for that but now I think as a lot of players have started to play the Richelieu and have begun to understand its benefits that the Richelieu you know is slowly becoming the community favorite for best battleship in the game and you see there I popped the I popped the reload booster again to get some shots on that Colorado and I took him down significantly with those two shots there. And I'm about to be reloaded again here while he is completely broadside to me for yet another shot that takes off another uh, huge chunk of his HP pool. Oh no, I'm sorry, I didn't pop the reload booster. What am I saying? The reload booster is now about to be is it now can be used again so I'm waiting for my guns here to reload I'm gonna shoot at the broadside Colorado hit him for 12k pop the reload booster shots are loaded again in 10 seconds another shot off as he is starting to angle that one takes almost 10k off of him and then there we go the reload time was down to six seconds the reload booster ran out went up to 12 seconds still very very quick reload time and this last shot is going to allow me to finish off the colorado now our next contestant the richelieu now he is going to demonstrate for you how not to shoot at either the Jean Bart or Richelieu. You see all of his shells that he just launched at me basically hit me in the bow. I am a little bit angled and pretty much it seemed like all of those shells bounced off. So you don't aim at the bow of the Richelieu or Jean Bart like that. You aim a little higher as I just did there and you can get some damage through the superstructure. Pretty significant damage too because this guy's at pretty low health and that shot nearly finished him off and it is going to allow this friendly cruiser to take the rest of his HP and secure the kill, but I don't quite realize that because I launch a salvo at the Richelieu right as he explodes, so that was a bit of a wasted salvo, but you know, that's fine. 21.7 second reload time, it's not like I'm going to have to wait very long, and that Tirpitz isn't quite within my range anyway, but he is about to be. He is now. So my guns are about to be reloaded, and I'm going to start taking some shots at him. Already up to 115,000 damage. So this thing can pump out a scary amount of damage in a rather short amount of time. I mean, matches, if they go for the full 15 minutes, this is halfway through the match. There are only three enemy ships left, but... You know, I mean, it's it's scary how fast this thing can pump out damage. So that's why I'm saying it might be potentially the best tier 7 battleship in the game right now. I realize the Iowa has bigger guns, but the Iowa cannot pump out damage this quick. And, by the way, the Iowa has two forward super-firing turrets with three guns each, so that's six guns. And it can angle bow on and tank massive amounts of damage just like the Richelieu and Jean Bart. However, the Richelieu and Jean Bart have all their firepower in the front of the ship, and they have two more guns over the Iowa, so each of them has eight guns in the front versus the Iowa six, and there is no reason for the Jean Bart or Richelieu to turn their ship, or to turn themselves, to get a rear turret firing at a target because they don't have a rear turret all the firepower is in the front so you can basically be bow on as long as you position yourself in front of every enemy which makes the Jean Bart and Richelieu 
both formidable opponents, and if they can get a good position, they become very difficult to dislodge. Now this Turpitz is turning broadside because he was trying to avoid the friendly destroyer's torpedoes, which is excellent for me. I hit him for another massive salvo. This has got to be like, what, the fourth, fifth, maybe sixth massive, huge damage numbers salvo in this game. So, I mean, and then we've got this enemy Jean Bart who, for whatever reason, noticed that I was broadside to him and decided to take a pot shot at me. I finish off the Turpets with only one gun because that's all I needed. And now I'm going to turn to Angle against the enemy Jean Bart. Although I do have to be mindful of the Kagero, which is, or at least was, in the enemy cap. He is now out of the enemy cap and spotted, and he could potentially take me out here. But the Turpets seems to be on his case, along with the other friendly destroyer. So I'm going to worry about this Jean Bart here, who is completely broadside to me. I think he is angling against the friendly battleship in front of him, but he... You know, he picked a fight with me, so I'm taking the fight to him. I am angled properly against him. He is not angled properly against me. So it's only a matter of time before I get a massive hit on him. And this one looks pretty good. And in fact, it is very good. He is now down to about a quarter health. I no longer have any reload booster consumables left. But if I did, I would be able to finish this guy off really quickly. It's not going to matter so much now, though, because he is not going to survive for a whole lot longer. Probably one more salvo after that hit is going to do it. I do have torpedoes incoming from that Kagero. The friendly lightning takes out the Kagero, so as long as I can dodge these torpedoes, don't have to worry about that Kagero anymore. And one more shot should finish off this Jean Bart. Now, he does take a shot at me, but I don't know. It doesn't hit very well, and I hit him, and he is dead. So there you go. Bit of the reload booster consumable in action. Very good battle. Four kills. 183,000 damage. Top of the leaderboard with 3,000 XP. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Got a lot of World of Warships Legends content coming all the time. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.